Hello. So today this is going to be a video on code 31. Uh, this was asked by Linkin Park X. And again, I'd like to give him a thanks for uh, showing me how to allow the, the screen taking to be done in a better way, especially the dimensions at the top and the bottom. So let's get right into it. So again, we know that their ace doesn't matter. So the trick in this fight is you're going to notice the front line is the cancer. They must never get the ball front. So their goalkeeper is uh, Ron Foe. So again, his name is changed. So be aware that his skills are going to be different. So this is something you have to be very careful about. Whenever their name is changed, they're going to have some little advantages. He's a four star, so I'm going to say it's not like he's going to have uh, any cool, uh, badass buff. The only one who you want to notice is this one, decrease inflicted damage when your hype is 80% or higher. The rest are fairly standard. So the goalkeeper is really not the problem. The trick is never letting them get the ball back. So if you want, you can invest in a four midline or a four front line, but you just, if the minute they get it back, they're going to pass it to Latios. If you're in back line, you know that the active passes are usually going to be done to Char. So you prefer blocking Latios, letting them shoot, and trying to penetrate back up mid. So a good way is actually to try to penetrate here. So whenever a goalkeeper has the ball, he can just walk back up. It's basically like an action refill. So on the back line, what is problematic? What do we don't care? Uh, Kevin is just really annoying because of decreased action speed. And he's gonna just make the backline more resistance. Um, Sirius is a four star, but again, she's just action speed again. So if both of them use their actives, it's really bad. Um, so the best way to deal with this is some spirit burn, what I'm gonna be using. And then we got Erica, she's, she's just basic, increases Andor. It's really nothing special. She's the, the, the weakest one of the lot. The only thing you're going to notice is her um, recovers 20% hype when attacked. So you never want your striker to be facing her. And even if she has the ball, she's not dangerous. So you want to be shooting right here. That's the best way to take them out. Now, in the midline, Jean is not really a problem. The only annoying thing is his active. Because he's going to be able not only to lock, to pass in front, but to shoot in front. So it's just going to be stacking more damage. Uh, the good thing is, if you have a goalkeeper with heal on damage, this will actually heal your goalkeeper because it's not that powerful. Uh, Lin Mei is going to heal when she's attacked and with a pass. Or is it only when she's attacked? I, c I can never remember exactly how she works. Basic idea is, let's just check, uh, reflex within the position. Oh, it's okay, it's fine. Just don't let her have the ball and penetrate. If you're pretty weak, what you want to do is re-roll until you started the ball. Because if they start, they might use an active pass. They pass to Char, Char shoots, you're over. So for weaker teams, you, you really want to start the ball. Veronica, um, she, she's really not that great as long as she can't stack crit. So that's something you want to be careful with. But again, she's Andor, so using some dark players could work against her. Uh, this front line, the only really annoying part is Yuri, who's going to be buffing them to death. So they're going to be really hard to get out of. Uh, Rune is supposed to be pretty strong, but I don't really feel as if she's making a big difference, to be honest. She's usually the one I'm penetrating. Uh, Latios is the huge problem. So if you got anything that can lower action bar, that can, or just try to terminate her if you can, that's the best way. Because from the point she shoots, she's going to kill the team, and that's why this, this fight is hard. And Char is actually extremely weak. You just prefer Char gets the ball, to be honest. Okay. So when you're facing this, as I said, I'm going to put my striker right. Pass or mid. This is fine here. My midline is also fine. My back line is not the best. Uh, let's just check. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're actually pretty strong and, and my Magnus can ironically reflex them out. So we're going to try this, but in, in the best of worlds, I would have switched them between each other for the elemental advantage. Sadly, the placement buff is just too great. Okay, let's try this.
Again, this might take a while because it's one of the more advanced ones and if I can't beat the midline, it will take quite a while. But as you see, they don't deal that much damage, so it's pretty fine. And reflex-wise, they're actually pretty low, so you could also try out-reflex them, but my line isn't optimized for it. Just be aware, that was the value of Metatron, so reduced 30%. This might not have been the smartest idea. Okay. Just make the pass, yeah. So the reason why I did that was to get more action bar front, so whenever I get there, I can just start shooting. So as you see, there's no great buff. They just have a lot of life and high damage resistance. So just slowly keep shooting. What is the crit resistance? I don't understand why that did not crit. Buff him a bit more. So again, your objective is to finish this the fastest possible because before they can start using actives. The good thing is the goalkeeper is going to always use his who costs one bar. So the faster you can go there, the higher chance he's going to do that, destroying every other active in his line. Or actually much better than his own. And voila, that's basically all you had to do. Never let the ball go back. If you do that, you've lost. So I hope this helps people understand how to beat the 31. I know I spent a little bit too much time explaining at the beginning, but it's very important to understand how their formation works. So thanks again uh, for showing me how to fix up the stream machine and well, actually it's called Andy. And uh, I'll be I'll be actually also later on today posting the 33 just to show exactly the next problematic match with the healing gym. See you guys.